Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monster Hunter World, the best damn game since sliced bread. I hope you are all enjoying it. If you are new and just getting into the game or looking to buy the game, I hope this video helps you decide which weapon you want to choose when you begin your Monster Hunter World journey. We're going to be making a whole series going over each of the weapon types and an in-depth gameplay of each of those. So I hope it is helpful if you want to see more. Don't forget to show your support and smash that like button. We've got a Jagras over there, which is actually our capture mission. But before we go and attack that Jagras, we're going to go over the combos for this weapon and a little bit of an overview on how it works. So without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and sharpen up my weapon here. And that is something you need to do in this game. Uh, but the dual blades are very fast weapons that deal low damage per hit, but it attacks so fast that that damage can quickly multiply into a ton of damage. Well, that's something you want to keep in mind, that this weapon is very, very quick. And the bonus about this is you've got many abilities that can get you in to the fray and out really quick, which is why I think it's one of the best weapons for a starter into Monster Hunter World, because you're able to get in and out of the combat quick and get to safety if you need to. Now, each hit doesn't do as much damage as some of the larger weapons in Monster Hunter, but it attacks so fast that that damage multiplies incredibly fast. Now, so you've got your normal attacks without anything else. So we've got our triangle attack, which we can combo three times like that. And now we've also got our lunging strikes, which turns into a round slash, and then you can change that into a double slash. So it's really basic just starting out, but uh, then we get into something a little bit more advanced, which is demon mode. Now you can see on the top right corner of the screen, we've got the double slash, the lunging strike, and then we can hit R2 to go into demon mode. Now this will substantially increase your damage and at the same time, completely deplete your stamina over time. So you've got a couple new things here. You've got the six-fold demon slash, which you can actually change into the demon blade dance like this, which is just a flurry of slashes and does a ton of damage. Now you've also got the flurry rush, which is very nice for getting yourself into combat and into your save zone really quick. You can change it three times, and it's very nice. Now... When demon mode completely drains your stamina, you're going to go back into normal mode. And this is where we need to actually attack something to show you the next part of the demon blade, which is the arch demon mode. Now, when you're in demon mode, you see this little bar on the top left corner just under our name, which once we start attacking this Jagras up here, we'll see that when we're in demon mode, it starts filling up red. This is your arch demon bar. Now you can see on the top right corner, left corner, that it is slowly filling up and each strike will fill this bar up. And now the goal is to fill up your arch demon bar before you run out of stamina. Now if you do run out of stamina before it's full, it will stay until you actually fill it up. Although it will gradually deplete over time. Unfortunately there's nothing to attack over here. There we go, there's some more Jagras. We need the big Jagras. There we go. There's the big Jagras. Now, we're going to enter demon mode, and then from here, we can continuously chain attacks. And I like to use the round slash and the demon rush because you can get in and out of their hitboxes really quick and kind of protect yourself. Now, we've almost got the demon bar full, although we are running out of stamina as well. You'll also notice that when we're in demon mode, we kind of turn into Naruto, which is kind of funny. But uh, regardless of that, all right, we didn't quite fill up our Archdemon bar, but you'll notice that it is staying full. So you don't have to always worry about getting that completely full on your first try. So we'll go ahead and get into demon mode here. And we should be able to... There we go. All right, now you'll see that the bar is full. So once this bar is full and we run out of stamina, we will go into Archdemon mode which allows us to have all of the skills from the demon mode without actually having to have all of our stamina depleted. Now, once we're into arch demon mode, we'll have all the same skills that we just had, uh, but you'll see that the red bar will slowly deplete. Once the red bar is gone, then we will go back into normal mode and we'll have to start all of our combos all over again. So we'll have to go back into demon mode 
and then fill up our bar, and then we'll eventually get back into Archdemon mode. Now, there's something else that's unique to this class, is when you jump off of a ledge like this, you can actually do a demon round slash, which will follow the entire body of whatever you're attacking that's below you, and it does a substantial amount of damage. I'm trying to lead the Jagras off the ledge right now to show you guys that, which should be just right there. So here, come on, get off the ledge. There we go. Oh, we messed it up. It's really something that's more for when you find an opening. Oh my goodness. So you can only do it when you're jumping. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get it done on this Jagras.
Now, as you can see, this is extremely devastating. And you can pump out a ton of damage when chained together correctly. And your Demon Flurry Blow, when mounted on to the monsters, is probably one of the strongest that you can get. Now, we've got this Zitzy already on the cusp of death. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. We're going to capture this thing, and uh, I think we've showed pretty much all that the um, these dual blades can actually do. Now, you can actually do this, um, this flurry blow, which we actually started doing when we mounted the Zitzy, but um, you couldn't actually see it because we ended up mounting it versus anything else. Let's see if we can actually trap this thing now. Come, Jimmy, baby. There we go. And wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. The demon blades, the dual blades, have captured another Zitsi Yaku. I hope you guys all enjoyed the episode. If you want to see more in-depth gameplay of different weapon types in Monster Hunter World, let me know. They do get far more complicated as you go into different types, and I'd love to show you guys all the different versions.